At its core, Dynamo is a visual programming language. What is visual programming language? Well, really, that means that you don't have to know all the syntax and all the hard parts of learning a regular coding language. It's something that we can use to make it easy to automate our tasks, to change things, and just to make our life generally easier when we're using programs like Revit. And just think of it as learning Lego when you were a kid. It's very similar to that, and it's something that we can all learn to use. Primarily, Dynamo can address anything. And that's the great thing about it. Whether you're looking to find a way to automate a process, whether you're looking to get rid of a repetitive task that's very tedious for the user to do, or if you're looking to get into generative design and have lots of twisty towers, uh, as we say where we want to see a lot of things, we have the ability to have the horsepower of computational design without it being all tasked on the user to come up with different designs and different iterations of what we're doing. So Dynamo, quite simply, can be whatever you want it to be. There's lots of resources available if you're wanting to learn more about Dynamo, but the place I send everybody first is the Dynamo website, dynamobim.org. There's a resources tab where you can get the Dynamo Primer and the Dynamo Dictionary. Two musts for anybody that's learning Dynamo. But once you've sort of dipped your toe into the water and you want to learn more, uh, you can certainly come to Imagine It where we can help you. One of the great things about the way that we train Dynamo or teach Dynamo is we do it in a workshop environment. So it's not just your standard picks and click classes like from the past, but we learn the principles and then we spend time actually going through and solving problems that your firm has. So think of the idea that you get to do some picks and clicks and then a little mini hackathon. Um, and we get a lot of great results from that work.